There's three forces at work here that Paul describes. There's three forces working here. The, the, there's the course of the world, there's the prince of the power of the air, and there's the lusts of the flesh. Now, there in verse 2, he talks about the course of this world. And, and, and the idea there, it's, it's like a river current. That's, that's the idea. He's saying, Paul's saying, there is a course to this world. There is, a, there is a flow to the world in which you and I live in. This world follows a very definite current. And, and we see, and you can notice, the, the current of the world in a, in a lot of different ways, a lot of different mediums, a lot of different indicators where you can get a sense of, you know, sort of which way the, the wind is blowing, which way the current is going in this world. You, you see it in advertising, you see it in social media trends, uh, you see it in education, you see it in arts and entertainment, right? You get a sense for what the course of this world is that, that you and I live in. And, and here's the thing about the course of the world. It seems very normal because it's what the majority is doing, Right? but they're headed for destruction. And so, what, so much of what seems normal in this world is really just the course of the world, people running headlong to hell. Jesus said there's a narrow road that leads to eternal life, and very few find it, but there's a broad road that leads to destruction. And man, that's the party that so much of the world is on.